Well, I'd like to welcome you all to my house. I'm Paul Glennon, the K9 Development Officer for Devon and Cornwall Police Dog Section. And this is Ruby, who's just had her second litter, the C litter. She's had three dogs and four bitches. She had exactly the same number of pups and uh, boys and girls in her first litter in June 2013. And here she is feeding her pups, looking very contented, very happy and uh, all the pups at this stage, I'm happy to say, are thriving. They were all born between 9am uh, and 5pm on, on uh, Monday, um, but it wasn't all plain sailing because in the early hours of Tuesday she had three further pups who unfortunately were all um, born dead. Obviously that was very upsetting for Ruby and all of us to witness. Um, I'm told it's not, un, it's not um, unnatural actually for that to happen. It's, for, it's fairly common for, for uh, brood bitches to, uh, to lose the odd pup in whelping. In fact, uh, that's exactly what happened with Ruby's first letter. She had seven pups um, and then uh, there was one stuck um, in the uterus and that one was born dead also. And obviously whilst I wish she hadn't had to go through that awful experience, particularly with three, I'm glad really that she hasn't um, got to raise ten pups because I think that would have been too many. And although it was obviously very stressful on the night it happened, I think it's probably going to be even more stressful um, trying to raise ten pups. Um, and I would have worried about the extra stress that she would have been under trying to raise such a large litter. As you can see, you're not seeing an awful lot of activity. There's not a lot going on. Um, and this is pretty much how it'll be for the first week. The pups are born un unable to see or hear anything at all. And they do very little except for what you're seeing them now, feeding from mother. And newborn pups are never completely still. They, they twitch and jerk and stretch their limbs constantly. And this reflex action is called activated sleep and uh, apparently it serves to develop and exercise the nerve in the muscle system. Their little eyes open between 7 and 10 days and they're able to hear from around 14 days. You've probably noticed the rather unsightly bars that are around the edge of the whelping box. And these are called pig rails. And they're very important because they prevent mum from rolling over and crushing her pops. There should actually be a pig rail on the far side there, but I removed that when Ruby was trying to lie down with her pops. And I'll put it back in later on. You'll also see up there there's an infrared lamp. That's very important because puppies are very, it's very difficult for them to maintain their body temperature. And particularly in the first week, it's very, uh, it's a real danger that they could, they could die from hypothermia. So while they're obviously all suckling here from mum, that's no problem, they're all nice and warm and all lumped together, but obviously mum sometimes pops out, um, and that's when we'll put the light back on, just to make sure. And you'll notice when we do that, the pups actually gravitate underneath the lamp to keep warm. I'm quite often asked, well, why don't you just keep the heating on the house on all the time so that they're constantly warm? But the problem with that is, is that Ruby would just get overheated and she wouldn't be able to really cope with that. So hence the reason for the lamp. I, I put the lamp on at night time when we all go to bed. And it's not a problem because if Ruby gets a little bit too hot, she can always move to the other side of the whelping box. And we've also provided her with a, with a small sofa which you can see there and quite often she likes to just pop out the box for a bit of a break and have a lie down on the sofa and, and the sofa from the sofa she can overlook all of her pups and hear them and tend to any of their needs. 
we're very lucky in that where we live here we've got a very large garden so that when Ruby decides she wants to stretch her legs and toilet I can just literally open the patio doors there she can pop out up the steps and she's got an acre of land she can get around and exercise and at this stage she doesn't go for very long maybe half a minute and she's back to see what's happening with the pups again What my intention is, is to do a little video each week now. There won't be an awful lot happening for the first couple of weeks. But it'll just give you an opportunity to see the pups, see how they're growing, the size that, that I mean, they double their weight in the first week. And just see how they're all progressing along. I won't overload you with too much more information. Because obviously I need to keep your interest over the coming weeks. So next week, I'll provide you with some more stats and facts. Anyway, there's not a lot to show you. Wish I could show you a little bit more. So from Ruby and the Pops and me, we'll see you all next week. Bye for now.